Hey guys, 23 Munch here. Um, I did open this pack from Aldis. It was a uh, 699 price. It's a 10 pack DC pack that says it's almost worth $49.99. So we're just gonna find out. Let me show you the clip of the thing. I did it last Aldis. week. Aldis. This is a 10 pack comic bundle. $49 value. I don't know. So let's see what we have here. We have Black Adam first issue. Okay. versus vampires see green arrow there issue 11 out of 12 limited series and we have oh i like this titans superboy it's a nice cover all right so let's let's dig in and see how much did we actually uh uh, get money from and I think you can gauge it through uh, YouTube I mean not YouTube eBay recent purchase uh, purchase and um, we go with the prices there so $49.99 let's see if we can get the value back right so let me start with um, Black Adam this is the uh, first issue well, the price for this one is two ninety nine. Okay. Next up would be the uh, DC versus Vampires. That sold was one ninety nine. The uh, multi multiversity. Teen Justice, this is the Pride number one issue. This went for actually 506. And the uh, number seven, DC versus Vampires, went for 299. Uh, issue number nine, DC versus Vampires, went as last sold was $3.59 Young Justice Targets uh, issue number 4 went for $3.99 Young Justice Targets issue number 2 last sold was $3.35 Blood Syndicate Season 1 went to 183. The Jurassic League actually went as high as 482. This is 6 out of 6 limited series. And the book that I like from the pack is the uh, Titans United 6 went for $4.99 so in total that is the value of 35.6 out of $49.99 so we did get uh, a good return but then of course you have to, to make it a point like if you sold all of this then you get the uh, the value out of it but as I said if you make a sale basing on the prices, I think you get a profit of what? This is a six ninety nine book, so around twenty nine dollars, I guess, from a value of forty nine ninety nine. That's it, guys. I just want to make sure that I 
check on it see if that really is true but of course that's basing on sold items and then if you actually sell all the 10 books that's what the money you can get thanks for watching